it, it makes me think of just, uh, you know, what would have happened if we didn't have all these clouds throughout the day today? Temperatures were just record breaking across the Northern California, Southern California. The only exception was once you get up north of Sacramento, that's where we had those uh, clouds were thick enough to where we didn't have as many records broken, but still very, very warm. 81 degrees in Sacramento. <laughs> Look at the cloud cover overhead, and it's 81. Winds are currently light. Stockton, kind of a similar story. We've had some breaks in the cloud cover, but it's still 80 degrees with just a high overcast currently with a southeast wind blowing at 10 miles per hour. Modesto currently 83 degrees with a cloud cover and a southerly wind blowing at 6 miles per hour. Fairfield currently 76 degrees with kind of an overcast there with a northeast wind blowing at 6 miles per hour. Lake Tahoe also got into the record books today. Well, at least it tied its record 67 degrees. It's currently 59 degrees with clouds looking a little darker over the lake with a north wind blowing at 3 miles per hour. And those winds are going to be increasing as we head into tomorrow. So look at the spread of record temperatures that we had 85 Sacramento, 84 Stockton, 84 Modesto. San Francisco got up to 84 degrees today. That's a hot day for San Francisco, let alone this time of the year. And 67 degrees was the daytime high. It tied the record for South Shore of Lake Tahoe. We had 80 in Auburn, 77 degrees in Placerville. Fairfield got up to 79 degrees. So a lot of warmth here in the northern part of the state. But also we saw temperatures in the upper 80s to lower 90s in Southern California. Satellite view shows the cloud cover, and there is some rain associated with that. Once you get along the coast and through the northern mountains, we're seeing most of the activity. And there's a nice stream of moisture associated with this that stretches out into the eastern Pacific. Unfortunately, it looks like most. Most of that is going to head north. And the reason why? Well, it's our old friend here, the high pressure ridge. It's going to be sitting around, keeping things active to the north. Now, we will see along the northern coast, north of San Francisco, northern mountains. As we head through Sunday, there's that chance for some rain. Backs off a little bit, but we'll still see some sprinkles and showers here and there. As we make our way through the week, Wednesday, here we go, area of low pressure, and that should keep things exciting. Mainly in the mountains, we could see some more showers as we go towards the latter half of the week ahead. And then we have another weather system coming in on Friday and into Saturday. So, how much rain can we expect? Again, it's not a whole lot. But we're seeing over half an inch in Mount Shasta, Eureka, 39 hundredths over the next 24 to 48 hours. Temperatures ranging in the 60s for Truckee, Lake Tahoe tomorrow, lots of cloud cover. Temperature still in the 70s, a bit warmer and through the south, through the mother load, 73 and through San Francisco, 75 in Fairfield. Temperatures in the upper 70s to lower 80s and through the San Joaquin Valley, and a little bit cooler and through the Sacramento Valley, mainly with mid 70s. We will see conditions that are going to stay with the clouds, some sun, and temperatures in the 70s through the week ahead. All right.